Here to examine a new controversial rehabilitation program for naughty girls is senior correspondent Jonathan Bauer. Recently, there's been an alarming trend in society. Squeaky clean nice girls turning into naughty, lust-crazed vixens upon meeting guys who wear Axe Vice. Hey! I'll ride that mustache off your damn face! <laughs> I wanted some answers. So I turned to David Rubin, PR director for Axe. Axe Vice smells great on guys. Axe Vice body spray smells great. Axe Vice deodorant smells great. Axe Vice shower gel smells great. What about the reports all across the country of girls who never had so much as a parking ticket now doing hard time in maximum security prisons over lust related crimes perpetrated against guys who were wearing Axe Vice? Well, occasionally we will get a girl that temporarily loses her sense of decorum when around a guy wearing Axe Vice body products such as Axe Vice body spray or Axe Vice deodorant and Axe Vice shower gel. All great products by Axe. Innocent personal grooming products? Maybe. Meet Kristen, a Dean's List student who, up until recently, never had a problem with the law. Tell me about what happened to you in January. I can't remember. I woke up in jail. The cops said they found a can of Axe Vice body spray in my trunk when they pulled me over. What else was in your trunk? A naked duct tape guy. I don't understand any of this. Kristen is perfect. Would have never done these filthy things. On two misdemeanor moving violations for riding a naked man like a pony <clears throat> against traffic, how do you find? Guilty. Welcome to the Axe Naughty to Nice program for wayward girls, a controversial rehabilitation program designed to help get once law-abiding, cookie-baking good girls back on the straight and narrow. Here, they will meet other former nice girls now serving time in Wellington State Penitentiary for women for naughty behavior. So in the spirit of public service, we at Axe came up with the Naughty to Nice program to address these rare and extreme cases. We're willing to take responsibility for the extreme effects of these great personal care products. Products like the Axe Body Spray, products like the Axe Vice Deodorant, and products like... Would a trip to prison be enough to scare these girls into thinking twice before attacking guys wearing Axe Vice? Nice and sweet. Hey! <laughs> Merry Christmas to make. Mama got knees! Yeah. Hey, ladies. How are you? Good. Comfortable? Can I get you anything? Shut up! The name's Julie. But you're gonna call me Mommy. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, yes Mommy. Ah. I'm gonna tuck you in at night, brush your little hair and sing you a lullaby, give you nice long baths. I'm your Mommy now. See you in the showers, ladies. Did you think that this is funny? Are you laughing? Because there's a lot of people that aren't laughing. Meet Dave. Dave is another victim of your crazed, unchecked libidos. Dave here showered with Axe Vice shower gel. He wore Axe Vice deodorant and used Axe Vice body spray at the same time. Then Dave here made the mistake of driving past the women's gymnastics practice. Three days later, they found him with the same look on his face. That is why you need to learn some self-control. You can't attack a guy every time he wears Axe shower gel or Axe body spray or Axe Deodorant?
After a disastrous debut, the Axe Vice Naughty to Nice program has been put on hiatus for retooling. For more information on how Axe is trying to help get good girls back on the right track, visit axevice.com. I'm Jonathan Bauer. Thanks for watching.